Lately, I've just been completely exhausted. I wanted to be honest with you guys and share this because I know I get a ton of comments from some of you saying, you look like you've got so much energy, how do you do it? But the truth of it is, sometimes I get completely exhausted and that's actually down to going through menopause. I'm going to talk about how I handle this and how you should handle this if you're trying to lose body fat. Hello fam and welcome to my channel. My name's Melissa Neal and this channel is all about helping you if you're a woman over 40 or like me over 50 get in fantastic shape. I decided to make this video this week because in all honesty I was actually too fatigued to make the video that I planned which was a what I eat in a day video. It takes a lot of effort for me to sort of film them and edit them. You know I thought I'm gonna t just tell you guys what's going on and actually talk about this fatigue because I know it's gonna be affecting so many of you at this stage in life. When you're going through the menopause like me so I'm 55 I haven't had a menstrual cycle for over for 12 months now but I'm still experiencing symptoms. Actually getting in shape becomes really challenging. Not only is it really difficult to lose body fat but you've got a number of symptoms and one of those is lack of energy which can lead to lack of motivation can't it? If you're really drained and tired the last thing you want to be doing is doing a ton of exercise isn't it? So I'm going to be talking about that in this video and give you my perspective really of how I handle it. A few days ago I rocked up at the gym having been out for my usual walk in the morning I got to the gym did my 10 minute warm up I just didn't feel right I stopped and I just thought do you know what I'm going to walk out of the gym because I was due to do a strength training session but I knew if I do that session I'm just not going to be able to work hard enough to get any benefit from it whatsoever so for me I want to be giving it 100% when I do strength training because that's the way to build muscle, that's the way to get progressive overload. And if I'm not going to be doing 100% in my experience in the past when I've tried to train through extreme fatigue, it just doesn't work and it's actually better just to take the rest. So I walked out of the gym, the lady on reception, she actually followed me out wanting to know what was wrong and I just said, you know what, I'm extremely tired and just as a background to this, sort of about between three and four weeks ago, I actually had COVID. The last time I had COVID, what I found, it really took me a long time to recover. It really knocked it out of me. And so although I don't have any symptoms anymore, I haven't got a fever, I haven't got all the other symptoms, I just feel sometimes a little bit off and I've had a real dip in energy. So what do I do about it? I only ever train now when I'm feeling that I'm going to get the most out of that session. If I'm extremely fatigued, I actually don't do the workout. I still did three good strength training workouts that week. I've done quite a lot of walking. I was trying to put in a little bit of extra cardio, some high intensity interval training post workout. But over the last three days, I've actually dropped that and I'm just waiting for my energy levels to return so I can return to the gym. And I highly recommend you do the same. Once you hit your 40s, maybe going into your late 40s or early 50s, 50s you're really either hitting perimenopause or menopause and this doesn't affect absolutely everyone you're going to experience dips in your energy levels and it's really important at this stage in life that you actually listen to your body and that's what I've been doing now two years ago I didn't really listen to my body and I tried to push through and if you do that what can happen is you can get sick, you can get injured, you're risking getting something like adrenal fatigue so you're not being lazy you're just listening to your body and if you need to sort of cut your strength training sessions right down to two or three times a week but those are really good sessions that is absolutely okay. And some of the reasons that you might wanna do this is you're just like me, you've got real extreme fatigue, 
or you might have something like Hashimoto's and a thyroid issue or fibromyalgia or any kind of autoimmune disease can actually make it a real real struggle so when that's happening what you need to be doing is just focusing on the strength training probably dropping the cardio or the hit cardio the high intensity interval training that i normally recommend i would say drop that if you're experiencing extreme fatigue and just focus on the strength training and a little bit of walking that's what i'm doing and the other thing i want to mention is food now is not the time for me to be dropping to low calories when i'm fatigued that's exactly what you don't want to be doing and taking your calories too low or having too much of a deficit can actually really make you feel quite a lot more fatigued. Make sure you're still getting in the plenty of protein, take in enough calories where you're on something like maintenance level calories. And that's gonna be different for everyone. Everyone's maintenance level calories are different but you can go on calorie calculator online and discover what your maintenance calories are mine are typically when i'm doing activity maybe 2100 or 2000 calories but because i'm not being active it's going to be a little bit lower than that so it might be 1800 to 1900 calories so i'm not going to drop much below that right now when i'm fatigued and I'm trying to restore my body to getting it back to normal. Now is not a good time to get extreme and start going low on calories. I need to feed my body good nutrient dense food that's gonna help me recover. And then once I'm feeling ready for it, I'm gonna get back to the gym, maybe do some shorter sessions to start off with. So I'll do what I mentioned, which is prioritize strength training and keep doing stuff like walking. Now, I know a lot of you tell me that you're so fatigued that you really find it difficult to get started. I would recommend for you, start off with 10 minutes of walking every day and build in one or two strength training sessions. And I've got some strength training workouts on this channel, or you can download my app and get my free seven day plan. There's some strength training workouts there. So just do one or two of those per week to start off with, and 10 minutes a day of walking, and gradually build up from there. Do let me know in the comments section if fatigue is something that's affecting you and let me know if that was helpful information 